Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Ruby Roy and welcome back to my Perfectly Imperfect Life. I really didn't want to pick up the camera today and I was like yesterday I should vlog tomorrow. Like it'll be good to get back into vlogging because it's been a while. Like I've been filming little bits and pieces throughout my pregnancy and I'm only just starting to get up finally to the point of being at present day footage because I always find editing old footage very difficult because I feel like most of the time, like obviously because it's pregnancy related I can still relate, but like most of the time I can't relate to my old self. I don't know, it's very weird. This morning I actually thought I wasn't going to be able to vlog because I wasn't feeling too good. I don't know whether dinner didn't agree with me or breakfast, but I thought I'd start off the vlog. It is currently... 9.30, Luke's just ducked into work to drop off a few receipts and things, but he'll be back home soon because he's got today off, and I'm going to try and do a couple of things today. I'm hoping my body lets me, <laughs> and I thought I'd bring you guys along, but to start off, I edited all day yesterday, and basically all I have to do is, because I had to split it into two videos, so I basically edited two whole videos, I need to re-watch the first one which is fully edited and export it if it's all good and make final adjustments if not. Then I need to slightly finish up one last clip from the second one and then watch it through again and pick out anything that doesn't work and then export it as well and hopefully get them both uploaded today. Hey Luke. What? Guess what I was just about to do. Wow, thank you. I was just about to put vans on and I was like, I don't think I can put shoes on. <laughs> I think I have to wear them. I can't do so much these days. So much. And we're heading off now. We interrupted my editing, um, but I really need a wee as always. So I'm just going to go to the bathroom before I hop in the car. We're on our way to baby bunting now, like I said this morning. I've got Luke here, which you guys have not seen in... Oh, you might have seen him a little bit in the nursery video, if that's going up before this. Luke, how do you feel? Very tired. No, <laughs> about being pregnant. You I'm are pregnant. so me. Uh, I'm excited and very happy and nervous. I don't think anyone can say that they're not. No. I'm not, but <laughs> Luke's been such a great help throughout the whole pregnancy. Obviously being sick and then now cleaning up the house and getting things organized for Bob because obviously I am struggling <laughs> to do anything. I am tired. <laughs> yeah, Luke's very tired and doing all that for me as well. So very good partner. Do you have anything else you want to say about being the partner to a pregnant woman or a father to be? Has it been hard? No. Is there anything you would want to give advice to other expectant fathers with their partners or with their situation? I would, I would seriously say that it's exactly how, I mean, it feels exactly how you know it. It's going to feel weird. You know it's going to be tiring. And it is. Yep. But it's not... It's about to get worse. It's not bad. I mean, it's... You can easily handle it. Yep. You just have to mentally know that you're going to have to handle it. Do you mean by, like, you're going to have to take over a lot of what they did and stuff? Well, As well? Or what do you I mean? honestly think it's the 21st century and you may go to work and ignore the other side of things is wrong and outdated. So you know, have to understand that there's things that has to be done and if you're going to be doing it with the person that's meant to be your best friend then you take a lot of the load for them. Yeah. When you can. And rest is important. <laughs> When you do get rest, you get deep <laughs> rest. 
like can pass out anywhere. <laughs> I can have a treble shot coffee and go to sleep five minutes later. Yep, it's a talent. It's definitely a talent. I hope our baby possesses just to fall asleep. Anyway, we're off to baby bunting. We've got a lot of baby stuff already. This is kind of getting little bits and pieces that I need more of like baby towels and washcloths stuff that I've found that I've liked and purchased previously but I'm getting more quantities of if that makes sense um, but other than that first time we just have, we're getting more of it <laughs> <laughs> more quantities of it. shut up but anyway goodbye we'll see you soon it's not goodbye I'd see you later oh my god goodbye Obviously, I've gotten uh, quite a bit of things that I will go through in a separate video. And we did just get like a little haul of things because there's towels I wanted. So I got these face towels from, what well, face? Washer. Washers? <laughs> from Baby Bunting. And I got a little three pack of them and they're like this really soft bamboo material. And I just got one of those because they have towels and washers and I wanted to wash them and see if they were still soft and if I still like them so I've already got a three pack of those so I got another three pack just in a different color and then I ended up getting two of the same material towels that have a little hood as well that's that I got more of the wipes that I think I'm going to be using I haven't researched as much as I want to just yet, but they are natural and they are biodegradable. Biodegradable is a big one for me. I also got this little suction moon, little suction cup bowl to use and a little sippy cup. These ones obviously aren't necessities at this age. I know that they are for like six months. We bought a few things from this range and I don't want to go to buy it in the future and it's not there and I just wanted a bowl because we have two plates knife and f knife no <laughs> a fork and spoon and then just a really simple kind of sensory bowl so it's plastic lights up and also has little beads in it for sound so I just thought that was cool but yeah I'm basically just gonna put this away and then Luke's downstairs already making lunch for us that's my tiny little haul. As I said, I will go through more things with you guys in the nursery in more detail once I'm a little bit more set up. I just want to get a couple more things. Um, but yeah, you'll see it throughout time anyway, trust me. And I wanted to show you as well. This is the baby bump. 24 weeks pregnant. So this is the baby bump. Got the little man in there. I'm super excited. I'm so excited to meet him. But anyway. Let's put these things away. And just want to preface as well, I'm about to put all the towels and stuff away in the drawers. I will be washing everything closer to him arriving. So um, I'm obviously not washing things before I put them in just yet, but I will wash them, I promise. Good morning guys. I feel like I tried to set up my camera in the car so I didn't have to worry about it filming or anything while driving. Did not work. I could I cannot find a spot in this car to do it but good morning. It's a few days later. <laughs> Basically I just had a few days of feeling terrible and then I had a few days of just not being able to film. I am currently 
at the plaza parking lot because I'm gonna go into Kmart quickly and pick up a rug, which <laughs> I'm six months pregnant and um, I just feel like that's gonna be very difficult to do. So I'm gonna attempt to do that on my own. Potentially go to Adair's because they've got a breastfeeding pillow that I want if they have it in stock. And then the chemist and then doing stuff at home. But I was like, I'll take you guys along the journey. And then I couldn't even talk to you in the car, but I'll update you at some point where I'm at. But yeah, I'm going to Kmart now. <laughs> Success. Success. Okay. Now for a dares. I successfully got everything I needed. So you guys saw me pick up the rug, which Luke's now mopping so we can put it down. You know me so well, babe, because you know I'd want to put it down straight away. If I didn't do this now, I'm going to do it after I eat and before I go to work. <laughs> and then I got some body wash, which is the one I want to try first on him. This is just stuff I saw while I was out that's on my list. So then I also got a nappy balm that I want to try as well. And this breastfeeding pillow. I don't necessarily love the cover, but I love the pillow. All the other pillows I've seen have been like all weird looking and flat or, but this one seems really good quality and I can always change the cover if I want, but I don't hate it. I just don't love it. And I literally just got a package as well, which is his mattress protectors. We don't even have the mattress yet, but it should be arriving this week or next week. But let's get this rug open. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is what the rug looks like. It looks super weird on camera and I'm not sure why. I still need to vacuum it. But it's like this really pretty herringbone pattern, which is kind of trippy, but not. But I'm hoping it'll flatten a bit and I'm going to put some rubber matting underneath as well. I just need like to lift this up because it's so heavy to put those bits under. It's the rug I went with. It's just a cheap one from Kmart. It was just to help bring the room together a bit. And I think it has a little view at the moment. telling you guys everything that I got just then because I was trying to eat lunch with Luke before he went to work and I'm, I was starving as well. So now that I've like calmed down, I'm like, okay, maybe I should probably show you a bit better. But the rug I showed you guys, I just vacuumed it. There is little flecks of like, honestly, pink or purple bits of fabric, but like I can pull it out. So I'm just gonna have to go through and pull those little bits out. There's only a few. It's just exactly what I was after because I'm like, I know this is a rug that's gonna get like ruined from playing on and I kind of didn't want to spend a lot of money on our nursery rug, but at the same time, I wanted it to still be like cushiony, which this has still got a little bit of cushion to it. It's just what I went for, <laughs> but it was $45 from Kmart. Like, honestly, can't beat that. So I got the rug from Kmart and got a makeup brush <laughs> cleaner for me because honestly, I have needed one for so long and my foundation brush I haven't been able to use in months, even though I hardly ever wear makeup. I haven't been able to use it because it's just so clogged up. Oh my God, that is humongous. Okay, I didn't need one that big. <laughs> oh, it says large on the box. I didn't read the box, obviously. What's wrong with me? I'm still rushing. Why am I rushing? I've, I've got time. Then I went to Adair's and got this. This is a Winnie the Pooh breastfeeding pillow. Um, didn't even try it around my waist or anything. My bump's not gonna be there, so I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I was like, surely I can just use like normal pillows instead of like an actual breastfeeding pillow. But then I also really wanted to get it to practice them sitting and things like that in it. It's so weird to try and picture it without the bump though. I'm like, will it be okay? <laughs> I then went to the chemist and grabbed some of this. This is what I've been taking along with the other Elevit. So I take the DHA and the other normal one for like conception and pregnancy. And then as I explained, I got the mattress protectors, but I haven't taken them out or anything yet. They are waterproof. 
And as I said, I got two. I also went to Kmart the other day and just grabbed a few little bits and pieces just because I was so bored that I went to Kmart, as you do. So I grabbed like a few little bath toys, like nothing over the top. Like I just realized I didn't have, have any toys for the bath and I do have a um, change station downstairs. And it's also got like his little PlayStation on it as well. So like it's got little like a mat for him to lay on downstairs and a little basket for toys. So I just grabbed like a few sensory balls. In another video, I really want to set up my nappy bag, which is also going to be my hospital bag at the start as well. But I did something kind of different with my nappy bag that I'm excited to share because I haven't seen anyone else get it. And I'm excited to share the little setup of the downstairs PlayStation and change station. I'm gonna go clean my makeup brushes. Let's do that. First, I'm gonna put this away. is the color I bought them. But there's your motivation to clean your makeup brushes because honestly, they were so bad. That thing worked like a charm. If you guys don't have one of them, I highly recommend. Do you wanna go for a drive? Do you wanna go for a drive to the beach? Do you wanna go for a drive to the beach? Yes, you do. Me and Luna are just leaving now. To go to mum's and we're gonna go for a walk with mum and her dog Maggie on the beach because I just thought that would be a really nice way to end the day Anyway, this is not important. I talk so much. Oh my god. Nope. Spontaneous decision. Not really. Uh, yeah. No. I'm not going to talk to you guys just yet. 